baby. Oh my god, so beautiful. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to uh, Phoenix Wright. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a bullet hole or a mole in his forehead? It's a mole. Oh, okay. August 3, 9.47 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Boy, am I nervous. Right. Uh, oh, hi, Chief. She got boobies. Phew, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you, and your client as well. Uh, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yeah. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over. My life, everything, it's all over. Dots. Is that your client screaming over there? <laughs> just might be. Yeah, it's him. Death. Despair. Oh. You nut. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. It sounds like he wants to die. No shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> wow. This, this is what he gets up to on Tuesdays. Nick! Oh my god. Hey. Hey there, Larry. Dude, Jesus I'm so Christ. guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Give me the dead sentence. I'm not afraid to die. Do we even still do that? Uh, I don't think we do it here. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, oh Jesus Christ. it's all over. I'm, I'm finished. I can't live in a world without her. I just can't. Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Ah, Nick, you gotta tell me who took my baby away. Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was you. Shit. <laughs> my name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. That's an unfortunate name. Oh, our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the Butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I own one, which is why I took the case. To clear his name. And that's just what I'm gonna do. August 3, 10 o'clock a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. Jesus. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. <laughs> the prosecution is ready, your honor. The, um, defense is ready, your honor. Ahem. <laughs> this is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Ooh, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... Wait. Uh-oh. No. No, wait. I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. <laughs> this is so relatable. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Ah, oh, the, the victim! <laughs> of course I know the victim's name. I uh, just forgot. <clears throat> Temporarily. This is your friend's girlfriend, are you sure? <laughs> How do you not know this? <laughs> right. Cinderblock! Oh, Cinderblock. <laughs> you seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. This judge just really wanted to get me comfortable in the courtroom, and I respect that. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. The murder weapon was the statue of the Thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. 
the court accepts it into evidence. What if they were just like, no, like that's not, that's not Game evidence. Over. You don't want. It. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls a defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. <laughs> Uh, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything... unfortunate. <laughs> oh yeah, he was saying that he was guilty like 10 minutes ago? Uh-oh, yeah. he gets excited easily. He's kind of a dumbass. Thanks. Ahem. He reminds me of Ryuji, just a little bit. Oh my god, don't <laughs> say that. That's, that's, you're just offending a little, Ryuji. Just a little. Just a little. Oh my god. I love Ryuji. Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. <laughs> we were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Uh, didn't they all die? <laughs> I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't answering my phone calls. Or seeing me. Ever. Oh. Wasn't it you anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies. All of them lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Dude, no way. <laughs> the real? victim was a model, but did not have a large income. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> it appears that she had several sugar daddies. Daddies? Sugar? Yes, older men, who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Are you slut shaming her? <laughs> I am absolutely. So tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right? I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? I'm gonna stop him from answering, because that's what What's Your Face said. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oof, wins. <laughs> the Roblox, oof. Dude, Nick, what do you mean, irrelevant? That cheating she dog. I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna drop dead. I understand why she dumped him. Oh my god. I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. <laughs> Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Gulp. <laughs> well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. <laughs> I wanna punch this guy. Uh-oh, he went. <laughs> what do I do? Chief didn't say anything. Well, it's bad to lie in court, right? It's bad to- it's bad- okay. <laughs> I'm getting into the logistics of this. I've never taken a law class, ever. <laughs> However, this is relevant to the case, so it can't be like, hey, don't. But if so he then, answers honestly, then he fucks us all over. I think I have to let him answer, though. Okay, have him answer honestly. I know, I'll send him a signal. Oh god. Tell the truth! <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I went there. I was there, I went there. Order. Well, Mr. Butts, dude, chill. She wasn't home, man. So, like, I didn't see her. The twitch really creeps me out. Oh, that hurts. Oh my God. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies the matter. Who is your witness? Why did he lie? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Jesus Christ, Buzz. Order, order in the court. 
the day of the murder, my witness was caught selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. It's the it's bullet head guy! Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is that correct? <laughs> oh, oh yes, newspapers, yes. Mr. Oh god. So we oh my god! <laughs> so we saw it. Wait, get it? Saw he it? Saw it! Yeah. Yo! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Bro. Freak out, it's anyway. raining. <laughs> so... Mister, please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witnesses His testimony. Account. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment and I saw her lying there. A woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and thought- That's suspicious. He said he couldn't go inside. What a bitch. <clears throat> Anyways, I remember the time exactly. It was 1 o'clock p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work out during a blackout? It was they a work night. out. They like do bench presses and stuff. Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, your honor? Alright, right, this is it, the <laughs> real deal. Alright, right. <laughs> uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why? You expose the lies and the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? Huh? Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Duh. Or is your client really guilty? The fuck? <gasps> How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Yes, Phoenix, go. Uh, okay. Wait a second. Didn't he? S he said he called at one, didn't he? Aha! It makes sense. Okay, cool. Oh, you found the body at 1 p.m. Oh, yeah. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at sometime after 4 p.m. There's nobody to, or er, no bodies to find at 1 p.m. <laughs> God damn it, Phoenix. <laughs> How do you explain this three hour gap? <laughs> oh, that, oh, er. Jesus Christ. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. He's ready. After his t testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Saw it? Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I. Gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put them on the spot. Yeah, bitch. That's all you have to do point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies see through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait, I remember now. The time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1pm. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Yeah, there was a blackout, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this one. <laughs> you see, there's, there's a time. It's probably coming from the television. I can do it now, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Hold it right there! The prosecution had said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. 
<laughs> you couldn't have heard a television or a video. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, I remember now. Makes you rather distraught. <laughs> oh, my apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. I'm a genius. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment. It wasn't there. He had the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Oh no. Gladly. He says it was the murder weapon. But... Oh, he says that the clock is the murder weapon. I understand now. But it's a statue. Yeah. That's the murder weapon. There is no oh. clock. I misunderstood it. I was- I- he said clock and then murder weapon, so mine was like, there is a clock next to the statue? I get it now. Oh. <laughs> Wait just a moment! The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue! Now how is this supposed to be a clock? Music! What? You with your objections and your evidence! Just who do you think you are? <laughs> who does that? Phoenix fucking right. Just answer the question, Mr. Saw it. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock! Your Honor, if I may... Yes, Mr. Pate? As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The clock? The neck is a switch. You just tilt it, and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Can, can I touch it and, like, see? <laughs> I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? Well, yeah, yes. because he said Absolutely. he didn't go in. Yes, Your Honor, there's a gaping hole in this witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction! Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... went into the apartment. You're lying! You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her! You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court. That is not what I came up with, but good on you, Phoenix. Intrigue. <laughs> Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Oh shit. Mr. Sod, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What, what, what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face! Would the witness care to elaborate? <laughs> <laughs> Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, let's see. I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard no sound. Oh, gorge. Oh, he, he threw his toupee at me. Oh my god. The fuck? <laughs> It was him, I tell you. I saw him. He killed her and he should burn. Burn. Give him death. Order. Order in the court, I say. Your Honor, uh, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. He threw his toupee in my face. Mr. Wright. Your Honor. Claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Do I have any evidence? I have the clock. Uh, you got this clock. Big brain it. Y Your Honor, the sound Mr. Saw heard was definitely this clock. The fact which is clear if you simply try sounding the clock? Hmm. <laughs> no? Maybe. He said that he heard it at one o'clock. I have no idea. <laughs> I forget. Maybe it's I actually, I actually don't remember. Try sounding the clock. Like, you can't Okay. Hurt. Yeah. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. Beep. Jesus Christ, what? I think it's 825. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. 
Well, he is the thinker after all. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. Ha <laughs> ha You forgot one thing! Oh, God. Well, it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing! How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case! Ah, <laughs> but we can! <laughs> we do. <laughs> do I? Yeah, we do. You got yeah. it. Do I? Where? Yeah. Which one? Because <laughs> there's a time discrepancy. Why would there be one? Yeah. But, you know, just go with it. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Wright? It seems you lack the crit critical evidence to support your claim. <sighs> uh. Yes, Your Honor. What? This means I cannot let no, you it's not indict over yet, the wit witness. I think it's indict. Oh, sorry. Is that indict? Is that he's well indict? I don't know. I have no idea. Unfortunately. <laughs> This ends the cross-examination <gasps> of Frank saw it. No! What? Did I fail? I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime. Girl, I almost had him. What did I fuck did, up? Sorry, did Nick just ready. keep his toupee? I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Saw it. Mia! I mean, uh, cheese. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. The chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason, and you'll have your proof. Did she bring it with her to Paris? Where do we live? What is the time discrepancy between here and Paris? Right, right? <laughs> right, right. Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? I'm gonna say yes, because is... I don't want to lose. What a mood. Yes. Wait! Maybe I can prove it! You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. What is my evidence? It's- it, it has to be this, right? You can try, try so. it, yeah. What else would it be? We used everything else. Oh, it's, it's not it's, gonna I be I know this. what it is, guys. I know what, what it is, guys. It's this. Oh yeah, it's you're right. You're right. You say that the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. I <laughs> have to, to see if you pull this one off. Let's see the evidence, just right? It would be this one, right? Yes! Yeah. 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 No, this one, sorry, I meant to do this one. Yeah? That yeah. would be funny if you yeah. clicked it. <laughs> oh god, I lose my mind. Dead ass. Like, I know why the clock was running slow, and he goes, why? And I go, because it's running slow now. And they go, that was, we already knew that. And I go, oh shit, sorry, Larry. Take that. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours! When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock was in 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast! Yo. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home! I spat on my hand. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? That's <laughs> Oh, what the? Oh Did he get God. rabies? He ordered at the mouse. Order, I say. You fucking died. Well, dude, this case has certainly turned out differently than all that we all expected. Are we murderers now? We just like yes. killed him. No, it'd be manslaughter. Oh, oh. it's well, still our fault though. <laughs> 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 Mr. Payne, your witness. He's dead. He er, uh, Huey. He died immediately, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. 
I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. Not guilty. Yeah, yeah. 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 You go, Butts. And with that, this court is adjourned. Guess the butts wasn't that stinky after all. <laughs> it turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house that day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sot let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sot grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. August 3, 2.32 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number 2. Oof, I still can't believe we won. Right, good job in there. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end in such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My oh. life oh. is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. This poor guy. Good. Wait, no, I mean, b bad. Bad, bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Sydney Winnie is gone, man. Gone forever. Yeah, and I definitely get why she dumped him. Larry, she was a... <laughs> She was a whore, Larry. Congratulations, Harry. Emma said Hori. Harry? Hori. Hori? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> Harry Butts. <laughs> um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate dinner. Movie? My treat. Oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who caught you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. What the fuck? He's giving me the fucking murder weapon? <laughs> That's what killed his girlfriend! <laughs> it's a token of appreciation. A present? For me? Wait, <laughs> wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. Really? You? You made this? Dots. Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. Was? Like, a minute ago. Oh, she's dead now. And, and... So, I mean... No, I mean, it was like it was literally a minute ago that he was crying about a Cindy Windy. Because he saw that Mia has better boobs. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Don't that make you want to cry too? Sob. <laughs> Sob. Harry. That's. Are you so sure? Excuse me? I hate butts. I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's just okay. Oh, I am not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right? Right? Don't you have something to show your friend? <laughs> you wanna see my attorney's badge? Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it, do it, deadass. Do it, do it. <laughs> no, deadass. Something that proves how she felt about him? Oh yeah. What the all is she talking about? <laughs> I wanna do show it. him. No, cause what if it's like, hey, game over, you suck. It's not gonna do that, is it? No, it doesn't we'll be nah, like, nah, nah. show him the try badge. Try cool. <laughs> show him the badge. Take that! Here you go, Larry. Proof. What the fuck's this? <laughs> it's okay, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll forget about her soon enough. Look, I'm gonna go ahead home. Thanks a ton, eh? <laughs> no, I fucked myself over. Guess that wasn't the right thing to show him. <laughs> oh, how do we go back? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wait! Did we fuck up? No. There. Did we fuck- did we mess up? Oh my god. 
No, this is okay, different. Wait, wait. This is different. This is different. It's fine. No, no, because no, we're supposed to actually show him. Are we? Oh, fuck. Dude. Oh, shit. Fuck. We're going to have to do it again. This is like toad. Do you think they always have like confetti out in the courtroom? Just like, just waiting for like the not guilty. It's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Always. Okay. Okay, cool. And now it's the clock, right? Because she kept it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chapter. Huh? What about the clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever. She just probably needed a clock. That's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. It's so clear. Phoenix, right? It's like, wow. Dude, right? It's so... It's a yeah, it's the, really nice. get this in the DS version. All the pixels? Damn. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Are you? Really? <laughs> really, oh. I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are innocent or guilty. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me. We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Yeah, innocent butts! Oh, speaking of Harry... You were saying part of why you became a lawyer is because of him. Er, uh, yeah, part at least. Oops, sorry. <laughs> All good. So my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave to Mia. Thoughts. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Did she fucking die? Oh no. Did she fucking die? Yeah. Bruh. A brand new episode. Cool.